Thank you for watching this week's tip of the week. The purpose of the tip this week is to compare block clamps versus suction. And really it is to educate each one of you as to what works best for your company. It may be the clamps, it may be suction, it may be both. So let's dive in a little deeper. Lots of different scenarios when it comes to clamps versus suction. And I wanna dive into just breaking that down. First department being laying pavers. So laying pavers obviously is very grueling, a lot of bending over, a lot of back labor. So using a clamp for some of your larger format pavers is a very simple solution. Coupled to your excavator, you can move some of these large format pavers with just a click and drop very easily. Nice part about clamping is you can get the product on there fast, really quick, easy setup, not of cords or anything to worry about. So that's one advantage you're gonna have with clamping mechanisms. The difficult part is if you have to extract the paver, so you have a low spot or you find one that's got a blemish or a chip or whatnot, to extract that paver and pull it back out, that can be quite challenging with a clamp because of the way the teeth work on the sides of the clamp. When it comes to suction equipment, a lot, a lot of benefits to suction. It's very gentle on the pavers because of the foam pads. You can pick the product up easily. You don't have to worry about chipping edges and whatnot. And being able to set that product in place, whether you be tight up against the house, say, with your clamp, you're not gonna be able to get up against there because of the metal. With our suction equipment and our pads being very streamlined, get tight to the uh, building. You can also extract the paver very easily. Say you have a product you wanna replace. So using the vacuum equipment, very, very easy to do so. Whether it be just a simple handheld unit or whether it be one of our vacuum equipments that couple to an excavator and be able to put product in there. So something to weigh out, expense-wise, you're talking probably a little less expensive with a clamping option as opposed to vacuum, but vacuum definitely has its advantages and definitely takes it to the next level. Next category I wanna talk about is retaining walls. Retaining walls can be rather challenging when it comes to vacuum. Most of the products have a core, some have a channel on top, so it's hard to get a vacuum seal on that product to be able to pick it. However, you do have some simple products, say Brussels. There's also the Rosetta products, some of those large irregular stones, and we did, we custom made a pad strictly for that product um, to be able to get it from pallet to pavement, being able to use vacuum equipment. And it is, it's very, very easy for that. Works great because you have the irregularity of the products and you don't end up with marring the surface with the pads and whatnot. However, I am a huge uh, advocate of clamps when it comes to retaining walls. You can grab product very fast, very efficient. You can grab multiple units at a time. And if you get good on an excavator, you really can get the clamps on the products, on the pallet, sling them over onto the wall, and you're alleviating a tremendous amount of labor of picking these heavy products, some of them 80, 90, 100, over 100 pounds, getting the product from pallet to pavement onto that wall, Again, you're on uneven ground, a lot of twisting of ankles and whatnot. We've found all those scenarios in the past. So being able to use a clamp to get products on the wall, huge advocate. We also have our BL1000, our hydraulic 1000, which that's a clamp that can rotate, does your clamping. You wanna talk about fast and efficient? That's the clamp of choice. Steps is the next topic of interest. This is a great category that I would recommend this vacuum equipment whenever possible. Many times you're setting those steps up against a home or up against a wall or whatnot. So it makes it really, really convenient when you're using your vacuum equipment to be able to suction down to that product, move it into place. The one thing with suction you always wanna watch for, if you're using a corded unit, you wanna make sure that's plugged in well. Even sometimes we'll knot the um, hoses or the cords together. If you're using um, the battery operated unit, those batteries do have warnings on them. So you'll have a warning bell that will go off before the uh, battery would die. So very convenient with that. There are times when the product may be very irregular, and that would be a case where you'd wanna use your uh, clamps. One thing with the clamps too, you can get sometimes a little bit of marring if you have a product that's really smooth or a very light colored product. And that would be a case of just taking even a little piece of foam or a piece of plywood, putting it between that if you realize you're getting some marring. When it comes to natural stone, my mind automatically goes to vacuum equipment. Vacuum equipment is ultimate when it comes to the natural product because you can pick probably 99% of the product you're gonna install. It's awesome because if, say you got that large format products, irregular flag, you can lay these sheets six, seven, eight feet in diameter, being able to pick them with vacuum equipment, set them nice and gentle where you need to be. You can overlay and then mark, pull it back out, reset it very easily. Large format products, even slabs, um, your steps and whatnot, vacuum equipment is gonna be ultimate. 
The only time you're going to maybe have a snare if you got a real irregular top, and then you're going to want to use a clamp. But also, sometimes with a clamp, if you have the irregular faces on it, it can be really hard to find that sweet spot to be able to get your clamp hooked on there and be able to pick that product up. So just keep that in mind. And again, I mentioned earlier, another trick or tip is a little piece of foam, or rubber, or even uh, a piece of plywood if you're worried about marring that surface. So when it comes to boulders, vacuum equipment is not gonna be your choice. We're gonna be limited and we're gonna use a block clamp, our 980 we created with the boulder grab, which is a great attachment to hook to the 980. And that product, you can simply grab your boulders and this makes it really nice for rotating, being able to set in specific spots, be able to lay that in just that right position. It also was great for some of your large blocks that you're setting on retaining walls, some of this natural cut stone or irregular products. You can grab that product easily with the boulder grab, set it on your wall, what a home run. If you wanna see the most versatile vacuum equipment that we offer, make sure to click the video on the screen. Thank you for watching this week's tip of the week. I hope you found it helpful to be able to determine which you want. It may be both. Thank you for watching this week's tip of the week. You can sign up for our tip of the week here. You can also watch another one of our videos here. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Now, if you're located in Canada, you can go and get our products at pavetool.ca. Have a fantastic weekend and look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.